Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Crit Primer, where we love us some what? Transformers! And everything that is all the geekness, the geek king, the geekdom. Oh man, I was actually surprised. I was looking through some uh, Transformer news today, came across this Transformer news dealing with uh, Forbes. says, before Transformers, there were two toy lines, Microman and Diaclone. The later is, uh, is what will make it the uh, most of the Autobots, with Optimus Prime being notably here. And this is an update that Tommy Carr is coming up with, which I was very, very surprised by. Uh, was originally released as Battle Convoy in Japan back in the early 80s. Now he's getting his much-needed update to Battle Convoy. Now, with this, you're going to get to see uh, all this niceness. I mean, this is, this is a really nice-looking Optimus Prime. I mean, it's very... Space Age, and I was very, very surprised by this when I saw this coming out, and that uh, with all the details that you're seeing here in the treads. But they said it's time now, and you know this was picked up by Forbes uh, Accounting, that's sitting there telling us about businesses and what they're planning to do, and uh, they were actually really excited about this. And um, he has not been uh, updated uh, under the Diaclone uh, title. Battle Convoy. Yes, we all know he was Battle Convoy in the Japan cartoons and other stuff too, but in America, we're finally getting a very updated version of Optimus Prime, and I've got to say, I truly, truly dig it. I am very excited about this. Uh, it depends on the price, whether or not I'll be able to afford to get it, but I am happy that they're doing it. Now on another note with Transformers, what do you think about them coming out with a new masterpiece, Starscream, and the Seekers? Are you really need to update your Seekers right now? I mean, think about it. I mean, if you get uh, the masterpieces and you turn around and you're now getting the Earthrise Starscream and you're able to get, you know, uh, Skywarp and Thundercracker, do we really need to have another masterpiece? figure made of Starscream. I mean, trust me, I get it. Deluxe Baldwin will tell you, absolutely. My my brother will say, absolutely. What are you talking about, Otto? What are you doing? No, ACP. It is it is absolute. We need as many Starscreams as we can have. And my friend, Lord Master Starscream, would be right there too. Would be like, yes, what are you talking about? We need more Starscreams. Me personally, I'm kind of happy with what we've got so far. But hey, you know what? You love it. You love it. You love. And that's all that matters. So if you want to get like a thousand star screams, y'all go right ahead. Have your little shrine. Bow down to it. I don't care. But at that, me personally, I do dig the way this looks. Um, but I do bring up the question, you know, is it, it do we really need a new star scream at this time? Especially with all the stuff we're getting as G1 look as it is. And then, on the last note, right now, they are putting out a Transformers Prom. Can you believe it's been 10 years for Transformers Prom? What? Yes. I feel old as dirt. I know, right? Transformers Prom, 10 years. 10 years, and they're coming out. Tommy Carr is coming out with... I still just yeah. like... I know, right? Oh, it's, it's just like, what? What are you doing? But we do have that coming out, which I am... I'm pretty excited about. It. I was I was kind of like on the fence, but then I was like, you know, it's going to be like a little bundle pack and have all these little extra things in it. So, yeah, I might be down for that. But let me know what you think down in the uh, the comments down below. Are you going to get it? Are you looking forward to it? Can you believe it's been ten years for Transformers Prime? And could that be the hint of what our next trilogy will be? Will be based off of the Transformers Prime. And that is alarm to say wake up and get your coffee. Y'all have a good one.